What is going on my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J Baby from Ricky J Sports. Welcome to one of the final four matchups in our random fighter select Xbox tournament. And before we start off, man, one of the final four matchups, there has been a little drama brewing in on this tournament. And it seems like we can't escape from the drama, but I want to show you guys something. You're probably thinking to yourself, man, we're going to the final four already? What happened to the Elite Eight? Well, sadly, I'm going to scroll down right here. Sadly, in this matchup, the Spider Suspense uh, matchup, if you were gearing up for this matchup, it's not going to happen because Spider got caught in his web and has decided to bow out of the tournament. Can you believe it, man? And we're gonna update this tournament bracket on the fly. So Suspensa, I don't know what this guy does, man. He is moving on to the semi-final and he's gonna face the winner of Cryoxus T4 and uh, T4H Dart. And um, I know this intro is a little long, but I wanna show you guys the road to Suspensa, man. This guy is Drava City. Um, he had some drama with Faith Rocks, remember that, when they didn't set the last fight to five rounds? And now, with Spida, for some reason, they aren't going to get their fight on. So Suspensa is, you know, fresh as a daisy, and he'll be ready to take on the winner of T4, H, Dart, and Prioxus. Let's hope they get their fights on. But anyway, without further ado, people, we are going to see a final four matchup between their rising star in Peyton going up against one of the most elite fighters in the game and that's why he calls himself EK Elitist 87 here we go all right people here we go the semi-finals where well at least one of the semi-final matchups is upon us right here and we got <laughs> Peyton versus EK Elitist I cannot believe this is happening right now and it looks like they're gonna start out in the bantam weight division and oh Peyton getting some Demetrius Johnson action that is a solid pick and when you get this far in the tournament to land a Demetrius Johnson is something to be very happy with let's see if he can you know utilize that solid pick because nothing's worse than getting a great pick and then not winning and it looks like EK is probably, EK, it sounded like EK was questioning him. How did you get Demetrius Johnson? But you guys saw it in the tape here that it was a legit selection. So we're just waiting on EK Elitist. Oh, we're in the nice uh, virtual screen. What is this screen? I don't have an Xbox. I always wonder what this is. But um, while we're waiting for EK to select his fighter, I just want to talk about Peyton going through the murderer's row of guys to get to this point. In this tournament and um, I believe he faced um, Aaron Borachov and um, who else did he face Tuzzler is amazing EK Dalton jr. 2019 El Technico like holy cow if this guy hasn't proven himself man if you think he hasn't proven himself then um, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about but look at this we got an Eduardo sighting for a second, I thought that was a created character because it just showed up as Eduardo. <laughs> it didn't show up as Johnny Eduardo. And you know how um, if you watch soccer, like a lot of the Brazilians in soccer, they just use one name. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of sad that EK Elitist ended up with Johnny Eduardo. So here we go. The first matchup. And obviously you got to give the advantage statistically to Peyton. And look at this guy. This guy is the Terminator. Oh my goodness. What a fantastic start for Peyton. And you know, when you face guys like the guys I mentioned earlier that he's um, defeated, you know, he's just so battle tested. And let's see if EK... I'm just going to call him Elitist because there's a lot of EKs out there. Um, let's see if Elitist can fire back here. You know it's not going to be easy. Peyton knows that. And look at that. Nice head kick. And both guys are coming out firing. Controlled aggression. 
And again, it's the first two fights are three rounds, so it's a sprint. Oh, nice. It's a sprint, so you gotta land your strikes, you gotta win your rounds. You don't have enough time in a three round fight to battle back. Oh, wow! What a combo! A lead overhand? That was nice. And EK is um, trying to get that all back right there. Just an unbelievable um, start here. This is this is making me nervous, to be honest. Nice. EK's chopping the trees, man. Hitting those legs. He's got to be careful, though. Throwing kicks and punching range. He's backing away. I like how he switches stance, man. Keep on switching stance, become unpredictable. Ask John Jones, <laughs> Dominic Cruz, just name a few. Even round, I give the round to Peyton though. Still got some time left. Nice good head movement. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Brutalize inside the virtual octagon. Wow, I love how he slipped to the side with a nice slip straight. <laughs> Look at Johnson, he was frozen there. And then he went with a brutal uppercut. Elitis didn't help his own cause by bending right down. And quick work by Peyton getting the early upper hand right there. And oh man, what can you say about that fight? I think. Alitas, his um, he really needs to switch up his game plan, man, because whatever he tried right there didn't work. So let's hope, you know, I like to call it right down the middle. Let's hope EK gets a better selection this time around, because you know what? I don't care who you are. There's not much you could do with Gianni Eduardo. So uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. So here we go. Um, I guess they're waiting. To okay, here we go. So he's got to hit that random select button. And it's throwing me off. Whoa. What was that? Kind of confused there. I don't know how that was random right there, but I don't know. I'm kind of confused. I guess okay so what I'm thinking is they made their selection previously and then somebody had to back out and then they decided to go back to their random selection from the previous fight if you know what I mean but that was kinda weird to be honest guys come on but um, I believe they did hit the random selection button previously so that's what we're gonna go with but here we go the second fight and um, we do have slight audio problems. I'm hoping that I could fix that when I get into the old editing room. So let's see if EK can strike back right here, man. And Peyton, he, um, he's got to use the length of Thompson. The beauty about EA Sports UFC 3 is that, not like UFC 2, you have to fight according to your fighter model's strengths, you know what I mean, in order to get that win. And um, when you're using Thompson, you just have to utilize the length, the kicks, the movement, and not get into a phone booth fight. Now, if you're uh, Nate, getting into that phone booth fight is not a bad idea. He's got great head health, great speed, great boxing, unbelievable stamina. So it seems like Peyton is, you know, just picking his spots, not over committing. He's noticing EK is missing a little bit. EK is trying to switch it up, going with the slow dance action. And I like that. I like that. Switch up your style. Wow. That kick almost looked like it just he broke through the block. Wow. Peyton's looking strong. Oh, he gets out of the clinch, and that's a smart move. If 
you're rocking it on the feet, ooh, why clench it up? And he's got to respect the grappling. Oh, a smelly to the head. And I love throwing that. Personally, I'm doing that a little bit more. Throwing that front kick to the face. But I like to set it up with a jab, front kick to the body. And then before you know it, when guys are thinking body, you're going to the old noggin. Oh, EK is hurt. EK is rocked. Just seems like in these fights and a half, one fight and a half, I can't say two fights, but it just seems like EK hasn't been able to get going here, man. You guys all know how good EK is, always taunting him. But it just seems like EK hasn't been able to, oh, he's rocked again, get going and get his offense going. And you got to accredit that to Peyton's beautiful stand-up game. Wow, what a round. Definitely Peyton's round. I like how Elitist, you know, tried to slow dance, tried to get that clinch. Maybe he's got to think about going for a takedown. But the Diaz brothers, if you play this if you've played this game enough, you know that they're not the best when it comes to um takedowns. And I made a video about my wish list for UFC four and pulling guard would be just such a great option to have, especially in this situation for Elitist. He can just pull guard, hang on, and try to work his jujitsu magic. But the only avenue to go for takedowns and get to fight and to get to the fight to the mat is through takedowns and you know, mainly through takedowns. So would be nice to see. I'm mesmerized, man, right now. I'm <laughs> you're probably thinking, Ricky, why are you so quiet? just mesmerized I'm looking at elitist and I'm trying to you know see him pull off the unthinkable comeback right here but he's rocked again he's rocked again he's got to back away though he's got to back away and he's got to get Peyton to respect that stand-up game Peyton hasn't been rocked Peyton's look good and then he's got to get this fight <laughs> into into the clinch and hopefully to the mat here where he's got the stat advantage. He's trying to egg on Peyton. Peyton's not buying any of it, man. He's using his distance, using a stand up game. Oh my gosh! Again! Elitist gets brutally KO'd two fights in a row. And this Peyton character, man, this guy is a gamer, and I don't care who you are. Whoever he's going to face in the finals, you better beware, man. And you better hope he's not on his game like he is here in this fight. Holy, what an unbelievable performance. Respect to Peyton. Congratulations. No matter what, yeah, at least you come in second, bro, because you just did amazing right there. And to Elitis, awesome job making it this far in the tournament. Holy smokes. I cannot wait to see this Peyton character in the finals man but let me know your thoughts on this fight and i'll catch you in the next one this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports and you are awesome what up people if you made it this far into the video i want to welcome you aboard the first class ricky j private jet and <laughs> look at me you see you see the uh, pilot there he is shaking his head saying you know what I can guarantee a takeoff but I probably can't guarantee a landing but you get what you pay for but um, I thought I would switch things up and show you guys this awesome game <laughs> this flight simulator so hop aboard come on get your boarding passes and let's get this thing started here and um, on the side when I'm not playing EA Sports UFC I love simulators man I don't know what it is something about it man just especially flight simulators enjoying you know catching the skies and not worrying about dying if you know what I mean but um let's take off we're gonna acknowledge we gotta ask for approval from air traffic control because in this game if you don't ask for approval you become an illegal um, you know a legal plane in the air and they send jets after you so you gotta be very very careful but here we go people we have been awarded. 
takeoff clearance. <laughs> I'm so excited man, to show you guys this. So here we go. We got to make sure everything is good. Let's get inside the cozy um, cockpit here. You know, we're serving cocktails once we get in flight. And um, all these buttons, man, you really have to, you know, study these things. Because half these buttons, I don't know what they do. Most of them I do, to be honest. I'm not going to be silly. But I'm um, going to make sure flaps are... I'm going to put flaps up. And here we go. Without further ado, the Ricky J first, cat, first class plane, I can't even talk, is ready to roll. And we're in Bahamas. Here we go, baby. Trade tables up. Smoking sign on. <laughs> you got to just keep it steady, though, man. Keep it steady. You want to make sure... You want to try to stay in the middle and gain that speed oh boy and this is a private jet man this thing can motor this thing can definitely motor I'm gaining speed you hear it humming <laughs> you're getting nervous <laughs> wow it's going really fast oh here we go and we are in flight ladies and gentlemen Ricky J pilot don't sink. Uh oh, it's telling me don't sink, and it's not talking about end sink. So we're gonna like gain up, gain some altitude here. Wow, look at the beautiful water. <laughs> Gear up. Wow. Look at that. Let's back up a bit. Wow, there's like a lightning flash right there. But if we get in the cockpit. See if I can show you guys. Let's get flaps down a little. Flaps are down, and look at that. See the boats there? <laughs> look how clear that water is. But um, when I'm playing um, this game, I usually play it after having a tough day at work, and I just need something to just calm my nerves and something to just, yeah, keep me calm, man. And this is it. The flight simulator. Let's gain some altitude. Let's gain some altitude here. Thing is with this private jet though, it's a little too powerful for my own good. Let's dip a little. Dip a little and show you guys what's going on. Do you see a shark? Do you see a whale? <laughs> Let's keep it steady. This is the Bahamas. The beautiful Bahamas. This is where I went for my good old honeymoon. Yep, that's right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot, Ricky J, baby. And I'm just going to tell you guys if uh, anybody wants to go skydiving, this is in the package. So I will simply open up the uh, door right there if you want to jump go for it there's always water <laughs> the pilot shaking his head oh i'm feeling a little uneasiness here when that door's open crazy things are gonna happen but anyway i'm trying to think of what else i could do i think that's good enough for now i hope you guys all have a great day hopefully you enjoyed those fights man should we try to land this thing? Let's try to land this thing. Why not? Why not? Now, <laughs> this is where the problems start. The problems start trying to find that runway. Oh, there it is. You see that? See that dot there? It looks like a bubble gun. <laughs> Hubba bubba. We gotta request instructions. I see it. We gotta make sure this. <laughs> we gotta make sure this view is pretty good. You see it down there? Gotta get flaps down a little. Sorry for the herky jerky. Uh, there we go. There we go. Got flaps down. Gotta get my gear down. Let's 
go full flaps. We gotta slow this bad boy down. Oh, somebody's got gas in the cabin. Did you hear that? We'll try to slow this baby down. I gotta zoom in, people. We're on 220 knots. I want to get down to uh, 170, but we're too high, man. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> we're a little too high for my own liking. We gotta dip down. This is not the proper way to land a plane, but uh, you know, somebody forgot their wallet, and I always make sure I deliver for my customers. But we're in full flaps. The, the only problem is though, when you're trying to rush a landing like this, I keep on saying take down. I feel like I'm saying take down. But um, when you're trying to rush a landing like this, you may go a little too fast and stall out. Uh, but our approach is <laughs> a little wonky, man. <laughs> Let's get back in here. Here we go. Guys, I'm nervous. See, we're going too fast. Pull up. No, 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 we can't pull up. pull up. Somebody forgot something. Here we go. Pull up. Oh, man. Sink rate. Just gotta... Jeez, we're still too high. We gotta angle it out. Just let it kiss the ground. Kiss, ma. Kiss, ma. Come on, baby. Oh, we're a little crooked. A little crooked. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Get rid of that text. Oh, we're gonna veer off the runway a little. It's okay, I own the part of the island. You don't get the best style points for that landing. But we made it. We are alive. We are alive, people. Welcome back to the Bahamas. <laughs> but anyways, I'll end off this video. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best. Let's see if we can <laughs> catch some, uh oh. Let's see if we can get here, get some flight here before we end up this video. Here we go. We're gonna keep it on this view. Oh my gosh, we're just going wherever. <laughs> did I hear it? Yes, I did, but I gotta end off this video. Look, look at the plane stick. <laughs> the plane <laughs> is taken off without clearance. But you know what? It's okay, cause now we're off to our destination. But anyhow, people, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Oh, look at this pool. Who wants to go swimming? Who wants to go swimming? Definitely be. But anyway, have a good one. I'm out of here. Take care.